like to introduce a new product for weather sealing. It's a silicone tape. We sell it in packages of one or packages of two. It's WK-S-1 or WK-S-2. It's a 30 mil silicone tape. And there's, there's a couple of things you can do with this. You can replace the strain move from the back of the connector. Our connectors typically come with an adhesive line three to one shrink boot. Sometimes working in the field, this is a little difficult. It requires a heat source to shrink this down. So this is one thing you can do with it. It allows you also to build up the strain relief, to taper the strain relief. And also you can use it as a final weather seal to seal the mated interface, to seal ground kits. Uh, so it's, it's a very versatile product. The first thing I'm going to do here, I was going to take about roughly about six inches of this tape and just use it as a strain relief. This tape comes with uh, just a clear backing that has to be peeled away. And what this tape has is 100% elongation. And it actually depends on that elongation to get its, uh, its adhesion. There's no adhesive on the tape per se. It totally depends on, on elongating it and, and stretching it and it adheres to itself. So we have a typical, here's an end female on, on LMR 400 cable. We're just going to get it started. We're going we're to give, pull some tension. Not too much to get that first wrap. But once we have that first wrap, we're going to pull on this tape pretty well. And again, 300% elongation. If you want, you can build it up a little more right behind the connector. And just, and just feather it back. One thing that's, that's a little different with this tape is if you were putting a PVC tape, usually the final step in a weather seal process, that last little bit of tape, you want to put it on very gently because you don't want that tension to come undone in the sun and the wind and start unraveling. With this tape here, you want to, the whole entire tape, you want to apply this, this tension. Just wrap it onto itself. And this tape will actually bond and almost become homogeneous if you were to cut this away. So what you've done here is you've, you've provided a nice weather seal strain relief. Here's our uh, Adam boot. You can see a little bit of uh, comparison between the Adam boot and the uh, silicone weather seal. Now, we'll make these two pieces together. And we'll take roughly about a foot of the silicone tape. Again, we'll peel away the backing. We'll get started just a little beyond, about an inch, the course of an inch beyond that uh, Adam boot. Good. Not, not too tight for that first wrap. But once you have that first wrap, you just start working it back down the uh, that made it interface, maybe roughly about a half lap or this is a little easier if the cable is actually installed and not <laughs> holding the entire cable here. Nice thing about this tape, it's very soft and it'll form very closely to the, uh, the connector. As I said earlier, in terms of finishing this up, you just want to keep that tension on there and then fold it back on itself. And that 
is the finished product. Very simple to use, no messy adhesive, no heat shrink gun required. Now one of the beauties of this product is if you did have to go in there and remove this to get at that interface, not only do you don't have any adhesive, do not have any adhesive on this on this tape, because of the tension that that uh, is, is present when you're applying the tape, it's very easily removed. Take a razor and just slightly score that tape. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that it's almost like a spring action. The tape just pulls away. So again, if you have something we need to go back in there later on, I mean, it just makes it very, very simple to do that. And this just pulls away here. On this back end here, because we use the silicone for a strain relief, it doesn't pull away so easily because it's already started bonding to that uh, strain relief underneath, which is which is a good thing. That's one of the real beauties about this tape too. Is once you apply it, you could you could apply it in layers, and you apply tension, and it actually bonds to itself and becomes almost a homogeneous piece of silicone rubber.